wind damage coming into our newsroom all afternoon. Michelle Fiore joins us live on Milwaukee's east side, which took a big hit earlier today, Michelle. It sure did, Shannon. Actually, right here is where a bus shelter used to be. That is until a strong gust of wind blew it on top of a car right at this stoplight. A shocking accident at Ogden and Farwell. Witnesses couldn't believe high winds lifted this sturdy bus shelter right out of the ground, shattering the windshield of this Mini Cooper. I kind of trust them. But every now and then you'll have a real strong wind come through and being down here by the lakefront, the wind is usually high. The driver walked away unharmed. All across southeast Wisconsin, strong gusts were a problem, knocking over trees and garbage cans and causing power outages. On the roads, drivers of large vehicles had to stay focused. You gotta make a quick lane change, all of a sudden the wind catches you. Uh, that can make you turn over, uh, especially SUVs. But the, again, the, the semis are the biggest problem. Is there a difference between driving on the interstate today versus driving on a city street? Absolutely. You got more wind coming across the interstates. You got more open fields, plus you're driving faster. Last month, high winds blew over a semi on I 94 in Kenosha County. When there's a wind advisory, mechanics think drivers should be checking their vehicle's front end. Loose front end parts are going to be stressed, tires are going to be stressed, the uh, shocks struts, springs, everything's going to be stressed because you're constantly going back and forth. Mechanics say that box trucks and semis with a big load may actually have an easier time on days like these than ones with an empty bed. We're live on the east side. Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. All right, pretty scary, Michelle. Thank you.